in this video I'm going over the Only Sims mod game okay so this is really really fun and really really exciting because of many reasons um you can basically have like an only fans for your sims which is really cool okay the easiest way that i like to do it is i clicked on the sweet orbit to download make sure obviously you translate it to english so that way you know it's it's where you need it to be. It, you can understand it. It's in English. Okay. Um, there will be another icon in the browser that will pop up in the top left corner and ask if you want English as well. Okay. So once you click on Sweet Orbit, it's going to bring you here. Okay. I scroll to the bottom and make sure you just read the English version of it that you understand. Um, and Sweet Orbit will be for the English version. And you're going to go ahead and scroll to the bottom. It says Patreon edition requires Get Famous plus High School Years video call plus the XML injector, plus Wicked Whims, okay, for posting a new photo. So if you do not have Wicked Whims, don't try to install this, okay? If you don't have the XML injector in, don't try to install this. Um, if you um, don't have Get Famous plus high school years, don't try to install this. But they're just letting you know that it won't work for video call if you do not have the Get Famous plus high school years, okay? If you need the XML injector, you're going to come here. And you're going to click on download, okay? So once you download at that at the bottom of the screen, sorry guys, let me get these icons and pop-ups out so you can see what I'm talking about. It's going to be at the bottom of the screen. You'll click arrow. You'll click show in folder. It does do a zip file, so you're going to go ahead and right-click that and um, extract it. I currently just installed a few mods, plus I already have the XML injector in. So that's the only reason why Maya has it number three at it, because I do this so you guys can see how to install the injector. So I already have it. So it's going to put number three because I have technically three copies of it on my computer. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to select the folder of the XML injector. You do not need to reinstall this if you already have the XML injector installed and it's updated uh, for another mod. You, it's the same XML injector. So you do not need to reinstall it. Okay. Once you already have that folder icon, you will see it and you will drag it into your mods folder. In order to do that, you got to go to the bottom of the screen, screen and click on file explorer, go into documents, then go to Electronic Arts, then go to Sims 4, okay? Once you do that, go ahead and delete the local thumb cache just to do it, just so you don't have any issues. Scroll up and click on Mods folder. Once you do that, just drag it up, drag it to the side, whatever's easier for you, and go ahead and drag that XML injector inside. I'm not going to do that, guys, because I already have the XML injector, okay? I'm not going to do that, okay? <laughs> so, um... Once you do that, um, you are going to go ahead and go back over to that tab that I told you guys to go to, all right, to download this version. It's going to show you how to get to it. It's still going to show, like, pictures that are not in your language. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Select the SFS free, okay? I think they said the Patreon dirty version. Let's just check it out real quick. I just kind of want to see. Um, so I guess this is, like, if you want the dirty version of this mod. Um, if you want just the regular version of this mod, you can select this one, okay, which is right here. They have a lot of download uh, capabilities here. It does say that it was added um, October 12, 2022, and it was last downloaded November 6, okay, which was yesterday. So we're going to go ahead and just select the public only Sims version. Um, it's your choice if you want the dirty version. I mean, it's, it's literally your choice. I'm just going to select this one and download it. Okay, so it downloads as a page. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the file explorer again. We're going to go into downloads. All right. And then we're going to right click it again and we're going to open file explorer, go to documents, go to electronic arts, go to Sims 4 and then go into mods. Okay. We are not going to delete the local thumb cache because we just de deleted it. It's not going to be there again. Okay. So we're going to drag that page into the game. All right, once you do that, you want to go into your game and enable your game option settings. So let's go ahead and do that right now.
All right, guys, so select options, go to game options, go to other on the bottom left corner, select enable custom content and mods, script mods allowed. Do this even if there was an update and you've already done this before. Make sure you click apply changes and then you will exit out and go into your game and check it out. OK, see how it is. Enjoy it. If you have high school years and you have um, the get famous pack, you are good to go. You're going to be able to use everything. All right, guys, so once you have installed it properly, you're good to go. Just make sure, like I said prior to this, that you have the packs that you need. So the packs that you're going to need for this is the Get Famous and the High School Years. If you don't have this, I wouldn't even bother installing it, okay? I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope that it was helpful. If it was, let me know how the game works for you in-game. Um, I hope you enjoy. I'm sorry, guys. Certain mods just require base game add-ons uh, that you need. So if you have the availability... I definitely say get these um, amazing packs when they're on discount and you'll be able to enjoy it as well. All right. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Again, I hope this is helpful. Hope that you guys can enjoy this mod and that you can benefit from it. Okay. Enjoy your only Sims and have a wonderful rest of the day.